want to learn how you can create a nice and useful OneNote meeting like this that you can use for yourself or your team. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own OneNote meeting template that you can use for your team. Now, in fact, the process I'm going to show you, you can apply to create any OneNote template that you want, such as calendar, planner, journal, all types of template that will make it easy and effective in your work. So let's jump right into my computer and I'll show you how you can create a nice and useful OneNote template for yourself. Okay, so step number one, go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Now, if you do not have the account, just go there and then uh, create your own free account. So once you get that done, right? First step, you want to create a design. So all you need to come here, create a design. Let's say if you want, let's say for example, usually I use A4 size, so that just in case I can print it out, then I can have that, then you can choose a A4 right, document size. Then you create your own template, right? Let's click on here. All right, so this is your A4 blank template. Now, to save you time, what you can do is that you are at the design tab you see here on my left. Then search for meeting minutes, okay, or meeting notes. Now you can see plenty of these uh, will come out, okay. So there are some free, some are the premium, right? So now choose one that you like best, and then you can uh, customize it. Let's say I click this. You can see here I can customize it right if I don't want this date I can just put date here so that I can fill it up later on yeah if you have company logo you don't want this you can just change your logo and you want to change your color by all means you can change your color right to anything that suits you or to your company uh, color okay so now assuming this is done all you need is to click share and download as a JPG or PNG file. Yeah. So once you've done that, then I'll bring you to the OneNote. Now, I'm just showing you, you can do all whatever design that you want, right? You want to change this, you can just go in and change like notes or attendees, agenda, minutes, whatever, right? Okay. So you can just go and change your design and there are plenty of other design to, to choose from. Yeah. So choose the one that you like or if you don't want, you can just customize uh, a totally new one for yourself. All right. So now I already download one of the design that I use. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to create that inside the OneNote as a template. So let's jump right to my OneNote. Okay, now I'm inside my OneNote and this is a team notebook, right? Now, in fact, once you have this, you can actually connect to your Microsoft Teams and everyone in your Teams can share one notebook where you can record all your meetings in there so that you don't have to waste time finding, right, checking your agenda, your your action items, everything, right? Now, if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft Teams, how to use that inside the OneNote inside Microsoft Teams, just leave a comment right below there. I'll do another separate video on that. Meanwhile, also check out uh, how you can use Microsoft Teams to, to share planner and all this thing. If you've not watched my previous video, watch this video right now, yeah? Okay, once we are in this OneNote, you can create any notebook as long as you know that we're going to use that uh, particular template in there. So once you get into here, it can be blank, right? It doesn't matter. You just click, let me show you, just click a blank page, add a blank page, right? You can want to put it any name you want. Let's say this is meeting uh, minutes template. It, it doesn't matter, right? So. The most important part here is right click here and then insert a photo pictures so let me insert the one that 
already download earlier okay so this is my meeting minute so I can just drag it yeah and uh, make it bigger okay like as you want now if you want to check whether you can print it out just go to file print and look at print preview yeah now if you look at here print preview let's say I set to the A4 size yeah portrait and yeah current page it's slightly a bit bigger you see it's already getting out of the page so all you need is just that go back and adjust until it suits they fit into your A4 size page now once you're into here just right click on this uh, photo okay and uh, select set picture as background because you want to write things on top of this so click here and set pictures here now this means that you, once you set the picture as a background you can no longer move this but right now let's say let's make it a little bit bigger if I want to put in the date or day here all I need is just click here day I can type in here today let's say this is Wednesday I can type in right over here I can put in the date today what date is that right so it of August 2023 all right meeting minutes whatever you want you can actually type into it yeah now for me I like to use my tablet or my uh, touch screen PC that I can write on top of it so it will be so much easier so all I need is just click on it yeah if you have a tablet iPad you can just write on top of it so for example number one meeting minutes right discuss about whatever things right okay now because I'm recording so I don't put it at the right position to write so forget about my ugly writings right so and you can have a discussion like problem about what now if you write properly you can actually se select this right let's say for example let me try right select this right click I can put it in into text it will t convert into so-called a text but if you don't like it or you don't want to write by all means you can just type it yeah yeah you can put number one action item and then you can type whatever you want right so this is the one note right now I want to save this as a template right now of course you want to save this as a template uh, first thing make sure you clean up all the mess okay all the writings I just want it to be clean right then you just go to insert here there's a page template click on the page template all right there's a pop-up over here and then you click save current page as a template click here and then you can name this right meeting in its template one okay and then you can just save it now if you always want this page because this page right this section all this is all about meetings you can see it here this section is all about meetings and you want to set it as a default meaning that every time you click add a page it will automatically come out like this yeah so in that case then you don't have to always insert a template yeah so if you want to set this as a default just click here and then save so next time when you add a page automatically this thing will pop up right including the the top section here yeah so now let me show you if you do not want maybe you want to use multiple types of template then you do not need to set it as a default 
So what you do is that you just save it. All right. Now, once you save it, next time, let's say you want to insert, you can go anywhere, right? And all right, you don't even need to add a page. You see, when I add a page, it's still blank because it's not default. So all you need is that you let me close this. So you go back to the insert and then you go to the page template. You can select it a drop down or you can click here and then go to my template. OK, so I have few. This is the latest meeting minutes template. Boom, it will create a new one. Even the, the top title, it is the same. So this is how you create a OneNote template. And if you want to set this as a template, you can always come back here at this particular meeting section. Let's say I want to create this no default template. Let me choose the meeting templates, my template meeting minutes. OK, so now if I choose this, the next time when I click add a page, boom, automatically it will have the same. Yeah, so because it, it looks the same, right? Let me delete it all and then I'll show you again. All right, so if I had this and a new page, automatically it will come out like this. So it's so simple, easy, and everyone in your team, if you set it to your Microsoft team, they will access to all this automatically and then they can use this template. Let me know if you have any question on how to create your own OneNote template right in the comment. I hope right now you know how to create your own OneNote templates. And if you feel that this video is useful to you, please share with your teams or your colleagues that will help them to become more productive as well. And also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you are interested to learn more about productivity tips like this. Hi, I'm Andrew and I create video like this to help you become a productive leader. So I'll see you real soon in my next video.